Hi guys and welcome to another Divi theme video. This is Jamie from System22 and WebDesignAndTechTips.com. Well, we got some great little hover effects for you today. Got images up at the top here when I hover over this first one. It's got a big old title there. When I let go it's going to disappear again. Second one, it's going to have some text roll in when we hover over it. That's a nice little effect for telling a story or being descriptive about your image there. Of course these can link to anywhere as well. And this last one I've given a little title and a gap and a bit more content. Really easy to do. For this last one we've got to just write one tiny little bit of code to give it the gap there. But really easy to do. To get this done today I'm using the fantastic Divi Supremes Pro plugin. They've got some great plugins. We're using the Pro for this today. There's a fantastic free version that Supreme modules like that I've covered in videos before. And it'll give you 20 or so free modules. So check out our Divi Supreme Lite videos if you want to learn more about that. And you can do so from my affiliate links below the video here. So let's get started. I'm going to enable the Visual Builder so we can build on the front end. Okay, so if I go down, I've got a section here, the blue tab. Inside the section, I've got a green tab, the row, with three columns in it. And in each of those columns, I've got a module, the dark tab right there. I'm going to get rid of this row and we'll start from scratch. Okay, I'm going to add a new row with three columns in it. Obviously, you put in whatever you want. Divi comes a standard with all these light grey modules here, plenty enough to build just about any site. These dark blue ones here are the ones you get with Divi Supreme Pro, and there's about 50 of them. And you also get some extensions that are fantastic for making pop-ups and using your library shortcodes and things. I'm looking for the Supreme Image Text Reveal today. There it is right there, I'm just going to left click on it. Here's what we want the text to say. Let's see my big title obviously or whatever you want to say and of course we've got to add an image pop an image in there now if you want to link this whole module to somewhere just down below you've got a link put your link in there where you want to take your visitors always best practice if you're linking to your own site keep it in the same window if you're linking off site open it in a new tab so that your site stays open I'm not going to put a background color in here because there's no real need to as we've got our image as the background there. So let's move over to our design. You can choose an overlay color here. I'm going to make mine purple. Now if you want to see a bit of the image through it, you can take the opacity down, just click on the color and this variegated field on the right hand side will take that opacity down for you. But I want that that'll enable you to see the image behind it. I'm going to keep mine full purple there. Okay, alignment. It's fine, it's taking up all the space, so it doesn't make much difference. I'm going to make sure it's in the middle of the module and it's going to always be centered on mobile. Our text here, well, I'm going to leave it light in color because I've got a purple overlay. I know you can't see it at the moment, but we'll check it on the front end in a minute. Yeah, I might as well give it a bit of box shadow as well. Here's our reveal text. It's set to be a heading 3 at the moment, which is going to work for me. I'm going to make mine bold. I want it capitalized. I'm going to make sure it's white in color. I'm going to bring it up to about 32 pixels in size. You can slide, you can type in a value, and you can increment up and down with the little arrows to the right. Letter spacing, I'm going to leave it as it is. Great, well this should be our first one done. Let's just save this. We'll save our changes. Save, draft, or publish if you're ready. Let's exit the Visual Builder. And there's our first one. There's our purple overlay. Our title with the shadowing, 32 picks. People are mousing around, that's going to get their uh, attention pretty quickly. So there's your one with a title. Now let's create one that has some text sort of streaming down it. 
And for that, we're doing exactly the same thing. I'm going to grab some text from here because I haven't got any real text. Um, let's just take, say that much. And I'll enable the Visual Builder and we'll go back and do this new one. Okay, well, I'm fairly happy with the way this one's working. So rather than do it all again, the settings seem fine for me for my next one. I'm going to just duplicate it rather than do it from scratch. Two little boxes right there to duplicate the module. We'll drag one over, it doesn't matter which one, they're both exactly the same. Let's put it in the middle. Okay, let's just change that image. So I'm gonna go into the module itself, the dark tab right here. We'll flip that out for a different image. Now right, let's do this one for this one. Now for the text, remember I copied all that text just now. I'm going to paste that in there. And I'm going to go over because I don't want that as big. This one we had at 32 picks. I'm going to make this maybe about 16 picks. Everything else I'm going to leave the same. Design wise, the overlay, let's take a little bit of the opacity down just to show you. You can see the image behind it. So this variegated slide on the right. I just clicked on the color field to bring this panel up. And let's take that reveal text down to perhaps 16 pixels. Don't want it bold. We'll have it regular and like I say let's take this down and maybe 16 might not be enough and this way when we hover over the image this text is going to sort of reveal itself in so let's save our changes here and take a look at this one we'll exit the visual builder and let's have a look at our second one and there we go, there's our text sort of scrolling in like that. That's about the right size for me. Obviously you can change it if you don't want it. But again, that's a nice little feature to have on your site. That's going to get people's attention. I think I prefer it with a solid background there. But as you can see, if you bring the opacity down, you can see some of that image behind. Great, okay. Well, let's do our third one where we're going to give it a title and a bit of content. So let's enable the Visual Builder for a third time. Okay, I'm going to go down. I'm going to do the same thing. I'm going to click on our middle module here. I'm going to clone it. And I'm going to drag it next door. And we'll go in. We'll swap that image out. I'll pop that one in. Okay, and now we want to give this a title and a bit of text underneath the title there. So, say my title, I'm gonna capitalize this on the keyboard. I'm holding my shift key down, my title there, right there. Now, to break it into two lines. If I hover over this, you're gonna see it. There is my title. I wanna break this into two lines. And to do that, we need to add a little bit of HTML here, which is a left pointed bracket. I can't put this down below because of the pointy brackets. Um, YouTube thinks that's code if you put pointy brackets down there. So my title, I'm going to put a left pointy bracket, forward slash, and BR for break. And then right pointy bracket. Now if we look at it, on the back end you're going to see that code there, but on the front end it's going to actually put a gap in there. I'm going to copy that one more time. Control C to copy. And I'm going to pop in front of it and paste it again for a double gap. And let's just go down. I want to make that writing a little bit smaller here. I don't want it capitalized. So again, design, reveal text. Don't want it capitalized. That's fine. Let's save this and see what it looks like on the front end there. Exit the visual builder. And let's go down. And if I hover over this, our title should have a gap between it and the text now. There's my title, and there's that text reveal. So there you go, guys. There's three little variations on that image to text right there. And that's some great stuff. That's gonna get people's attention. Obviously, these hover effects work best on desktops. So you can duplicate this and do a completely different one if you want to for your mobile and tablet versions.
So I hope you've enjoyed this today and found it useful. Once again, we've been using the fantastic Divi Supreme Pro plugin to do this today. And like I mentioned earlier on, there is a light version that's got 20 modules. Unfortunately, this module is not included with that, but it is in the Pro. So I hope you've enjoyed this today and found it useful. If you have, please give it a thumbs up, ring the bell, comment, share, and subscribe to our YouTube channel. Once again, this has been Jamie from System22 and webdesignandtechtips.com. Thanks for watching. Have a great day.